Dang. New truck, who this, dude? It's my first time seeing it and it's stunning. <laughs> like I saw it get off, I was like, oh my gosh. Yep, you did it, yeah. you did it. That <laughs> thing's gorgeous. Dang. New truck, who this, dude? Wow. We're out here in, uh, I guess, Lucerne, right? Lucerne Valley, Camp With Dan, Camp. and he's got his newest creation that Giannini did. It's my first time seeing it, and it's stunning. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's definitely the best iteration yet. I want to talk about, like, people know you from your Ranger, right? That was the first build. It's the same vehicle under here, but this is like the dopest thing he could have done with it. Like killed it. And I want to talk about the whole process with Danny yeah. and all that. But I think let's talk about just where you started with the Ranger first. So that started in high school. Okay. 2004, it was a 2004 Ranger, Ford Ranger Edge. Started in high school. One of my buddies rear-ended me leaving school. Yep. <laughs> my truck was lifted, just a little spindle lift and his truck was stock. He also had a Ranger. So when he hit me, he went underneath me and uh, totaled his truck. My truck had a couple of dents, but they wanted to pay cash, which benefited me because now that started my crazy build. <laughs> yeah, and so this thing. So started off with a Camberg mid-travel kit, okay. 6.0 mid mid-travel, and then snowballed from there to this. <laughs> now this was uh, Eric Moore chassis from the start, right? You, you yeah. brought him the Ranger. I brought him basically a cabin frame. As far as his work being still on here, uh, it would probably just be the, the front end. Yep. There's a couple feet of original back half from around 2008. Danny Giannini pretty much redid the whole cab cage. Yeah. And then half of the back half and then tie-ins and uh, shock mounts and everything. Danny is a sleeper cell. He is a sleeper cell. That's who he is. <laughs> he's just low key and he just, obviously he's, he's taken this thing and turned it into the best version that it could possibly be. Um, before this, so it went Ranger. And then it went, uh, it was the F-150 cab. It was a single cab F-150, but it just had the, the little small. It was like the single the extra back. cab. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then you guys, now when you went to do the cage in this, you have the series on it, right? The build yeah. series on it? Yeah. And just to kind of recap that, you put a whole new cage in here to fit this cab? Yes. Copy. So this will be the third time the roll cage has been done from when it was original. Yep, and you can kind of see the frame under there still, the every, little ranger every frame. Every time we redid the roll cage, we matched the angle yeah. of the cab. Yeah, made it fit. Yeah. Yep, that's the proper way to do it. What made you figure out that you wanted to do a OBS, like a 96 F-150? Uh, so the way I figured it all out was just measurements of what I was working with. Mm -hmm. Basically figured out that this cab would work out the only difference would be we would have to have the rear coil over partially into the cab. Yeah. But this whole cab, the idea was to bolt it on. Sure. So for the most part, it is bolted on. There are a couple tie-ins. Yep. As far as, you know, back here, if, if I did smash the cab and have to redo it, this would have to be cut out and work, reworked. But yeah. other than that, the cab is bolt on and it'll it's almost Cut a, it right off. A consumable <laughs> item. Yes. You know, it's gorgeous. I mean, it's so. What's your wheelbase? Do you know? I didn't ask the travel numbers. <laughs> <laughs> it looks one, one twenty-eight to thirty. Ten foot ten. You're holding me accountable to numbers right now while oh, I'm recording sorry. something. No, no, you're. I'm probably closer, right? No, one twenty plus ten. Hold on. Thirty. Oh, I was on it. Yeah. I said 120 to 130. I don't know why. I was going eyeball fabbing though. <laughs> 130. I think we give just her, both went chair. down a grade in math. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's obviously various bits of information on the interweb about the truck. Yeah. 
but we can kind of start with the inside out uh, powertrain. It was a stock LS3. I took it out and uh, brought it to Robert Maruzzi. He stroked it and it is now a 418 stroker. Has it been dyno? I need to make some adjustments to get all the power out of it. Sure. Right now it's about 376 horsepower. To the rear? Yeah. Copy that. And then what's your trans? It's a reed case, fully built. One of my buddies, Bobby, built it. Okay. Does he have a shop or anything? Yeah, he just kind of does it on the side. Copy. Let's talk about the process a little bit. So saved some of the front suspension, right? Yeah, saved so, the frame. So basically from here forward has always stayed the same. Copy. Danny's done little things here and there. Sure. But, uh, for the most part, the whole front end has is an original from when Eric built it. Front end is uh, ID Designs. Sick. Center mount. All the steering components are out. 5.2 bypass, a two and a half inch coiler up front. Oh yeah, yeah. Big JMR brakes, JMR yeah, hubs. JMR brakes, JMR hubs. And then we go to the middle portion. So all this stuff is fresh in here, huh? Yep, still need to get the interior dialed in. But sure. McNeil dash, PRP seats, harnesses. And you got the three seater. Yep, the car seat. With the special seat in the middle. <laughs> That's the ticket. And you know what's really nice about your configuration is, especially with having a child or a smaller kid in there, their head is always like the Bobo head where yeah. you like want to control it or yeah. like, you know, your wife or something can yeah, hold their head. Yeah, we've done that. So it's optimal right there instead oh, yeah, of like super sure. far in the back seat yeah. or something, you know. No, we've done whoop sections, drinking bottles, <laughs> and taking naps. Yep, yep. And I think the whoop sections make the naps. It does. They're a nap creator. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and the cage is fully proper, you yeah. know. Danny knows it looks like all inch and three quarter and then an inch and a half stringers yeah. big tie-ins in the back yep. you can see some of the sheet metal started uh, behind here right then you still got some tie-in to do back there yeah well that's probably for the cab to come off too right yeah, that too. yep yeah yep. one thing I noticed is you have removable panels in here yeah. right for service it's a lot easier to get to the trans and then what's the process okay so I kind of see with the cab that's your that's yeah. like your stringer tube here right that runs along the rocker and then where's the bolt locations for this so, thing the bolts on the end pillar here. Yep, I see the back side here. These bolts down here, it's tabbed off these tubes. Okay. Just little quarter inch bolts holding it all yep. the way down. Just a nice spread of tie-ins there, and that's all you need. Those don't look like Danny headers. <laughs> Danny's the header master. In, in time. Yep. Uh, one thing I noticed too is the shock mount configuration here. Yeah. The coilover is kind of living in a home there, yeah. uh, in inboard of the cab a little mm -hmm. bit from the back wall. New shock mounts. Yep. Definitely my favorite type of junction there coming out. Yeah, Just a nice, nice tight miter backed up by a support tube there. And then you can kind of see where your tie-in is for some of the rear that was already here, right? Yeah, this portion right here was the original from <laughs> 2008. All the rest is new. Yeah. Fuel capacity. 70 gallon fuel safe. Okay, cool. And then all of the glass on here. It's all uh, McNeil fiberglass. And then, so that's like the Eisenhower front this clip, is, right? Yeah, this is the Eisenhower glass. Yeah, I think they killed it. I think the biggest style points for myself, at least, is this. Yeah, right, I that. Agree. There's something with that overlap <laughs> yeah. that's like, that's the yeah. ticket. Yep. Like, if you have an OBS, you best have that going yeah. on, unless <laughs> right. you're a single cab. So we got the 39-inch Toyo tires with the 17-inch uh, method wheels, all freshly powdered. Those are gorgeous. Translucent gold. So let's talk about that. We had a conversation earlier uh, and we asked Dan about the wheels and if they were anodized. Because yeah. the thing I've seen firsthand with anodized, especially like lighter colors like that, is it does not take much and you're going fading quick. Yeah. You know, and you mentioned these are powder coated. Yeah, so what they do is they actually polish the wheel and then that is powder coated with a translucent gold. So you could actually see the polish finish and it is clear gold over yeah. the polish finish. So it's adding its own natural polish yeah. through the coating. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. Black bead locks. I believe those are the standards. Those are the OG. Yeah, that... yeah, yeah. We talked about JMR hubs already. That's been an OG item on the truck for sure. Toyo is obviously kind of stepping up their game with the tire program. Definitely. And uh, obviously the glass is beautiful. Dylan mentioned something. Dylan, talk about the bedside mounts. The bedside mounts are my favorite part of this truck. Okay. And Danny knows it too, I think I told him. <laughs> Look at how he built them. I mean, super small tube, thin wall construction. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, he really took his time on those things, yeah. huh? Yeah. yeah, it's all three quarter. Oh yeah. It's all either chrome or DOM, all TIG welded. You can even see how like the, 
the tab is landing into the junction. You can see the Fifi over there. Uh, everything is dialed and then just bolt on. For the cab ones, they're removable with uh, net certs on the cab. Oh, yeah. You know what's nice about that is that's a really clean way, especially because sometimes when people have that fender overlap, they will just weld like tabs to right. the cab in kind of a primitive way. And it'll crack right at the weld because yeah. of the hardening. Exactly, it takes a lot of the material with it because then it's a, a dedicated welded fabricated piece on just thin sheet metal and right. Danny's done that where he spreads the load exactly. with various hardware there and then it's displacing that and then it's uh, consumable. Yeah, if you jigged it up, you could rebuild them if you hit something and yeah, super clean. What do you think about this thing? Yeah, I love it. I mean, it's beautiful. Look at it. I want to borrow it and, <laughs> and take it out to dinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, what was your process with this? I mean, it's been down a little bit, right? To yeah. get to where this point is? Yeah. What was some of the more gratifying stuff besides being out here right now? I mean, where were some big steps? Just seeing the truck evolve from a 05 F-150 to this older OBS yeah. 55 F-150. I could just tell that everybody knows this is the proper route. <laughs> it is. <laughs> kind of like I was trying to find what exactly I wanted over the years. And Finally, this cab just fit it all. Like, sure. Checked off all the boxes and I'm happy now. Good. Hopefully I'm glad you're happy. Hopefully we won't be doing any more cab swaps. <laughs> well, at least you built it preparingly, you know? Right. That's all you can do. Yeah. I think this stuff is haphazard. Obviously, I deal with Eric and yeah. he's had a couple of them and, yeah. you know, rolling is part of, that's why there's a roll cage. It's not for looks. Yeah, exactly. So stuff happens and I think especially when you're pushing yourself and having fun, yeah. that's just par for the course. Yeah, exactly. I see the rigid bar up there too. I kind of noticed that was a detail that... Yeah, I actually just turned the rear facing one on. Yep. It's so, really nice, simple and clean. I'm going to run that as my brake light and blinkers. Amber. So I, it does have amber yep. uh, because I do have a yeah. license plate. That's the ticket. <laughs> and that's been OG license plate, I think. Yep. After we took the truck out to Superstition and New Year's, we brought the truck over to Dylan and he wrapped up a bunch of yeah. small details on the truck and got the wheels taken care of for me and then had the wrap the wrap done for me. Dylan's been a big part of this. I was gonna say, <laughs> Dylan is, I'm sure you guys have seen his face around, but he's yeah. really stepped up did just a, to help with stuff. Did a nice little prep on the truck, bolt check, went over everything, brake pads, rotors. The consumables consumables that I don't keep up with. Sure. And it's nice to have people that want to help out and do that stuff. It's a lot of work. Yeah. These things are, they're a ton of work to build. And then there's a whole nother aspect, especially when you have high end stuff with big parts yeah. is taking care of the things and maintaining them and prepping them and exactly. having them ready. You can put them away wet, but then your variable for braking yeah. is uh, much higher and then you're screwed for a weekend. I mean, what's your next step with this thing? Uh, probably interior. Interior? Yeah. Do you have a place or anything? I, don't, yeah. I remember you talked to me about it and I'm yeah. still experimenting with a couple guys, yeah. but I think between all of us, um, you know, and uh, I know Eric's F100, it's yeah. got pretty good interior in there too. So yeah. it's really about finding people that have kind of done this stuff before and know what you want. Yeah, I'm kind of veering away from racing for a while. I still like racing, but my pocket doesn't. Sure. Driving it is just as fun. Jumping is just as fun, if not more fun. Yeah. You get to be with your family I'd like love that. love to do it with AC and the yeah. monitor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you have plans for AC? I yes. Okay, copy that. Still needs a lot of work in the cab to make it comfy. Still loud. Still race truck-ish inside. <laughs> but gets the job done. Yeah, I think that's an easy thing to do. You know, at some point, it's just yeah. carpet. Like, that's, this thing's ready. And that's it's... why I still have all this wiring hanging because I still plan to use it. Sure. And that gives us another update. Power windows. Yeah, so absolutely. Gonna, for now, this is my AC. Mm -hmm. There's like a 60 at 60 <laughs> thing right here. <laughs> yeah, I also like too that you have analog gauges. I'm a simple man with stuff like this. Yeah. And I totally appreciate MoTeC and all the high tech stuff now yeah. or electronic, um, you know, all the fuel injection and all that, but just running analog gauges with uh, switches there's something about that, especially yeah. with the shadows like that. My Look at switches that. are a guessing game. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, it's an anti theft device. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, this buys me time. I know exactly which ones make it work. Nobody yeah. else does. Exactly. Danny's done an awesome job on this thing. He comes yeah. through, he finishes stuff, you know, and gets it done. Definitely. Something to be said about that. I would like to thank all the people on the doors. Zero to 60 Studios is the one who took care of the wrap for me. Shock Prep Unlimited, he went through all the shocks for me. It's my brother in law. 
Black Hat Studios. He has a beard. A, has, has a beard and he's been a big help as well. Heatwave, McNeil, Rigid, Jmar, PRP, and last but not least, Terra Crew. And we got a little, a awesome. new one for today too, huh? Sorry, I have to put that up. <laughs> I forgot Method and Toyo. Well, I think we covered Method and Toyo, right? <laughs> yeah. It's time to rip. Yeah. Eric's so out there. We're gonna go use the thing, huh? Let's do it. Dan's excited. Well, what I love about Dan is his smile. <laughs> Look at that. I'm excited for that. <laughs> helicopter. Yeah, so we have special treats today with this thing, and there's a good group of people out here. It's gonna be bomb. So congratulations on this thing. It looks beautiful. Thanks. Good job, Danny. Good job, Dylan. Everybody, everybody that helped out. Oh, I, have to, I, I like I saw it get off. I was like, oh my gosh. Yep, you did it. Yeah. You did it. That thing's gorgeous. So Let's go scratch it. All right. Thank you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. See ya. Later. <laughs>